Okay, so a little bit about EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. So it's a technique that I do use in the car with pupils for people that are suffering with anxiety for, for all sorts of reasons, whether it's driver related or not. It's very effective at removing emotion from the thought. Uh, there's been over 100 uh, studies on EFT to show its efficacy, and it's now becoming much more well known for its effectiveness with all types of uh, trauma-based uh, issues. Uh, but that also could include phobias, trauma, phobias, depression, anxiety, PTSD, etc., etc. So I'm just going to run through the tapping points now and then talk a bit more about it as I do it. So just running through the tapping points, what are the tapping points? If you think of it a little bit like uh, acupuncture without the needles, you're working on the Chinese meridian system, freeing up the energy from the body to help the energy or the chi in your body flow much better and more smoothly so you don't get any blockages. And it's the blockages which cause um, stress and anxiety and phobias, etc. So we're clearing that out of our bodies and our energy field. The tapping points are the main ones I run through them now. So we have core of the eye here, and they are all linked to particular parts of the body or the Chinese meridian system. So tapping in here, we have uh, the bladder and then the gallbladder and the stomach. And this one's called the uh, uh, governing meridian, which runs around the back, the central meridian. And the collarbone here, this is related to the kidneys. Just under the nipple point here, that's the liver. Under the arm, where the armpit's sort of in line with the nipple. Ladies, that's where the bra strap is. If you tap there, that's related to the spleen. And then also we've got ones on the on the wrists and the side of the hand. Now the side of the hand here is called the karate chop point. That's the uh, small intestine meridian, and that's where you put your setup phrase, which we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, the small intestine in the body is responsible for sorting out, if you like. So sorting out what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. And that's deemed um, useful and important in emotions. So what we're going to keep, what we're not going to keep. So tapping into the small intestine is, um, I think of the gut as the second brain, tapping into the small intestine is actually very powerful. So the side of the hand is a small intestine. There's also a wrist point here, which is linked to the small intestine as well. And then the other ones on the hand, we have uh, lungs. And we're tapping a bit where the nail just meets the skin on the top of the hand like this. Large intestine. This is um, circulation and sexual areas. This is called the triple warmer or the fight, flight, freeze response, which also links to a point on the back of the hand here between the, the two bones of the little finger and the ring finger. And then the heart meridian, which is here. Um, I had the privilege to actually work with one of the uh, founding EFT masters, one of the 29 EFT, recognized EFT masters in the world. And, um, she told me that she now only really exclusively works with the side of the hand and find that it works just as effectively. However, I find that when you are tapping on the body, if you do resonate with a particular point that you're tapping on, I would just stay on that one. Because if it feels good and it feels right intuitively, then stick on that while you're talking about your particular issue. Um, so we have a setup phrase. So at the beginning, let's say, for example, if it was car related, I have a fear of roundabouts. So you would say, okay, even though I have this fear of roundabouts, for whatever reason, I deeply love and accept myself. Accepting yourself is very important. Accepting the problem is very important because that's the first step on the road to actually recognizing that, yeah, it is a problem, but it doesn't always have to be. And once you start to accept it, it can actually reduce quite dramatically. So accepting is very important. And again, this is tapping into the small intestine area. So um, I'm not going to talk too much about psychological reversal at this point, but this setup phrase here helps with psychological reversal, which means um, there's a stubborn part of an aspect of you which doesn't want to get rid of it. Well, we can talk more about that on another uh, in a, on another session. So even though I have this fear of roundabouts, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though, for whatever reason, I really don't want to go and do roundabouts, I love myself all the same. Even though I'm finding roundabouts absolutely terrifying and there's no way I want to do them, for whatever reason, I deeply love and accept myself. And then, when I identify 
let's say I've got you about to approach a roundabout and you have this fear. We try and recognize where you feel it in the body and give it an intensity rating between zero and 10. So not being absolutely fine and 10 being, I'm so terrified, I want to throw up. So let's say you had an eight, which is a high intensity. So I have this eight out of 10. I feel it in my stomach. I don't like it. I want to get rid of it. This feeling of dread in my stomach, this fear of roundabouts, this, this roundabout fear that I have, I'm not sure where it comes from, but I'm willing to explore it. And I definitely would like to get rid of it. Now tapping under the arm, just going through all the points. This fear of roundabouts. I'm not sure why I don't like them, but it makes me feel uncomfortable. And I certainly don't want to drive it. I'm happy to go round them with somebody else because I'm not in control of the car. Is that important? Does that make a difference? There is another tapping point just on the crown of the head as well, which is also known as the uh, fight, flight, freeze response or triple warmer. Um, this roundabout, I don't know why I can't do it. And so it goes on. So basically we're tapping around the points while we're talking about our story, talking about our fear or our fears. And you'll find that as you do that, the intensity will start to drop. So maybe it started on an eight, and maybe now it's gone down to a seven or a six, or maybe it hasn't. But while you keep tapping, the intensity will start to reduce. And as you go along, particularly if you're working with a qualified EFT practitioner like myself, we'll go along asking questions and finding out the because. I don't want to do it because, 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 until you get to the root cause of the problem. And when you've got rid of all the different aspects around it, you'll find the situation much more capable and much more easy. Um, there's lots of um, more information online. And of course, if you book a session with me, we'll go very, very deep into um, how this works and other energy psychology techniques. But that's just an introduction for EFT for now.